just want to teach y'all about something that really, you know, first, you know, start by filling your pockets. One thing that I've noticed is that I always think of a hamster in my pockets and how I can just reach in here and grab something and take it out. Still things in my pocket, but it feels really uh, kind of seedy and kind of like popcorn. You know, it has the uh, butter around it, really buttery. Always feels like that with me. It feels like I'm reaching my hands and just like if anyone could take General Tso's chicken and put it in their pants and put it in their pockets and put it in their clothes and you could just pull the General Tso's chicken out, you know, and until I can actually touch something besides just more General Tso's chicken and more repetition. That's how I felt. <laughs> and I um, just want to give you a uh, video about hamsters. And also, you know, the symbol right here that I have, you know, it's also in line to nature, you know, I mean, just with Earth, Earth here, how it is. And um, <clears throat> we only live up to three years, you know, which is kind of symbolic. And also that I had two hamsters. And um, I think that's for both of these tattoos on each arm. I think it came with my life. I think it's very important. And um, another thing I'll notice that I can raise my eyebrows up and down and it makes my hair go back and forth. And I also realized that I had these ears, which are like hamster ears, you know how they're, they're kind of cupped like this, and then they have that little burr on the end of them. And I can go like this. It has that little pulling motion. Now, anyway, um, <clears throat> I'll just give you a little video. Um, my point is to try to not be a hamster that is uh, not able to uh, do the other shapes and forms that I'm trying to do here. So one reason I did this rap music, and I think it's the reason that why you know, my hamsters did this for me. To me, it just reminds me of like a finger in something. I'm using the human commercial just like one, two times, and then it stops. And there's petting, and then everyone dies in between those two frames. That's what I'm trying to avoid here. In the dance. Mm -hmm. I mean, you've heard the word butt hamster, for example. And then uh, this next part I wanted to show you was I don't know, it's just a video I just saw. I don't know. But it's just that you know, being a hamster and having tubes to go in really reminds me of my life. I always make rooms for my life and I always have like all the small activities that I do you know in little hamster rooms with my memories like I have a big gigantic hamster room and then it leads out to every single day of my life and then I have 
you know, like every place I would go or wouldn't go, and all of them, you know, go together, of course. Would go is also wouldn't go because I wouldn't have, like, stuff I wouldn't want in there. But it seems like, you know, we need those references right now, and I really do not like that, and I think that this culture is horrible. <coughs> um, not liking something is probably one of the biggest problems I've had. And, um, so yeah, about hamsters and everything, I think that it's a big problem. And just the fact that I have to die. Also, you know, I'm pretty, you know, belittled, you know, with the, you know, like some smell of cheese on the end of a finger that isn't even trying to be sexual at all. And you can still smell, you know, the pieces of cheese that would crum crumble up here on the ends of the fingers. Troy's video. Troy Kinzer, you can look at his video. It's like the one on uh, November 22nd or 1st or 3rd or something. Before he died. And before he went, you know, back over here. But, I mean, just the smell of money and cheese is just all you people could think of. And Troy beat you so badly and Mario beat you so badly. Age 24. It doesn't go. Just, and just the, you know, the smell of money, you know, can make the ears go back. And you know, if you play with it too much, you know, it starts to look bad. You know, you have bad hair or something, it won't look good. You know, it'll be what you don't want it to be. And you're just sitting there like this, and you're like, and there's this little ball here. You also have, you know, you know, it just looks retarded, you know, it's just constant. You know, it makes your head look like a little, like a clown scalp, you know, it has the, you know, plastic flap, you know, that goes there, the chicken flap, you know, that goes right here over your head. And it's just like a, like somebody just skinned my head. And then just left, you know, a piece of skin here that says the word scalp that's disconnected or it's connected back. You know, and it, it's just horrible looking. It looks bad. It looks like I'm eating seeds. I'm eating seeds. I'm eating seeds. I just think that looks ridiculous, you know. I think it looks horrible. You know, I wish I could do something about it. I wish I could just keep my hair. No, I wish I could just, I wish I could just, I wish I could just, I mean, can y'all do anything besides I wish I could just, and then you're just like, mm, mm, monkey, 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 and you're talking about hamster, 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 and it's just that little dying of a crowd that would just come back and say something right here, you know. Yeah, hamsters um, definitely are you know, a part of our body's makeup and it is like people working on a section of our lives. It's like having a plumber, you know, come through everything and, you know, actually check out everything in your life and, you know, they, you know, can sip that water and everything, you know, and it is just like, you know, sucking on a nipple or whatever. And, you know, obviously, with the involuntary body movements, you know, with the twitches, which happen all over the body, it's supposed to be able to kind of, it's kind of like a ball with like a cylinder, <coughs> maybe this way, or maybe just a ball with some kind of point, but it seems to kind of like, you know, pop up in different spots, and in order for it to do that, you have to have that form of uh, awareness that a um, hamster would have to learn. You know, because those little involuntary movements, you know, that are, you know, the other ones, you know, like when you do this and it doesn't flex, but that flexes, you know, that's different than having it like this, you know, where it's flexing like this. These big flexes are not hamster flexes then, you know, but maybe that is the big hamster flex because their hands are so small and kind of like corn chips, you know. I get a bag of these, it would remind me of being a hamster. And just looking at the word corn chips again, you know, I think it really does tell me 
you know, and but maybe the human element, you know, is probably just having the little bumps that come up, you know. You know, I, I have it on my nose, you know. You know, but like, or you know, different little things in my ears go like, you know, or you know, it could be my eyebrows. Eyebrow, you know, that goes like. You know, just little things like that that will trigger it. And I, I just feel really bad if I get too comfortable as a hamster, as in, you know, like way too comfortable, you know. Plus, another thing people need to understand is how much, you know, forcible, you know, really annoying uh, sex can go on that uh, is actually not comfortable. Because there is no building, there is no, like... This is my boundary instead of just a big pile of, you know, stuff that can just come out of a hole is my life. I'd rather it be where something can stage where it is, you know. It's like um, you know, you know, when your mouth's full of seeds, you know, well I have plenty of this, I have plenty of this, I have plenty of this, I have plenty of this. You know, but the thing is just constantly, you know, having a huge pile of things is the only thing we have, you know. Um, to compensate, you know, for what we have or do not have, and I, I just think that that's pretty wrong. Is what I think. I don't think that that's right. That's what I think. And um, yeah, you know, when your body gets stale, when it feels like Obama's feet, you know, from a couple years ago, or his hand was just like this, is like Drake the Rapper. Like, I mean, just how his hand was so big and bulky. It was like the word um, Pentagon. You know, and it was just so big. And it was like Pentagon gum, you know, and just how that is. And, you know, it just felt like there was no give in the hand. It's like you could just take a piece of, you know, his skin and just cut his finger off and then just eat it. You know, he'd be dead, you know. And I, I, I don't. I, I just really don't think that that's what I'm looking for. You know, it's not the presence to be. You know, and to be stuck as a hamster. I mean, you also have mouses and rats. You know, that get trapped, and just because there's some food there, you know, it goes up to eat it, and then it gets snapped. You know, why does that happen? Why does when a mouse eating, you know, some food? It creates a snap that kills the mouse, breaks its bones, you know, is why I have these involuntary movements that are voluntary movements. And, you know, you're training it and you have to have sex with it, of course, because you have to have touch with it. So I guess you have to be able to sense it. But I mean, too much cuddling, you know, I mean, um, it's not good and not having your own you know, individual awareness is not good either. I mean, you don't want to have it where you know, the point of life is to be a happy hamster and just to cuddle with as many possible hamsters as you possibly can. You know, that, that just doesn't make enough sense. And I just wanted to raise some awareness and um, obviously, you know, just get you to know that, you know, animals have to change forms. And, you know, a hamster that's just a hamster, uh, it gets limited. And it, it's like having anything be the same thing that it is once it can be used for other things you know it's like you know if someone uses me as a tv and i don't want to be a tv you know that's when i know that i'm, I'm staying in the same form too much you know and i just want to let you know that being able to change a form and at least an aspect of a form is very useful because in memories and in life if everything was just one simple replay that has one sideways movement you know, um, then that means the whole thing is changed. And you know, that's all it takes is this little movement here to get somebody to jack off. You know, like if your hand's limp and then it goes this way and this way, and so we can just start going like this. You know, and it's, that's ten times that something could change. You know, but anyway, um, 
and just not knowing. I mean, just the word you know is the thing that bothers me. Another thing is Munchausen by proxy, which I feel like is very murderous to say.